old building on Meridian Street that's been at the center of a years long dispute could now soon see a new owner. About four hours ago, the city took initial steps in buying the building, which has been vacant since 2016. And for the last decade, the Children's Museum has actually owned it. And our Marion County reporter, Laren Costick, tonight now breaks down what this vote means and the future of that historic site. Apartments. At one point, it was the place to live, but now, a hundred years later, it sits vacant in one of the busiest corridors of the city. But very soon, that could change. It passes nine to zero. I On Wednesday, the Metropolitan Planning Commission gave the green light for the city to purchase the property. The eight-story building sits on North Meridian and was built in the 1920s. Back then, it was considered luxury apartments. Today, it's owned by the Children's Museum and sits in the middle of its campus. So we have been in a uh, good conversation with representatives within the Children's Museum relative to a purchase agreement and are working through those conversations and hope to have a resolution. Uh, in the coming weeks into months. The potential agreement comes after the museum tried to demolish the building back in 2019. That's when the Preservation Commission stepped in and designated it a historic property, halting any plans to tear it down. The museum then filed a lawsuit. It's a legal battle that has gone back and forth, but recent talks have given supporters new hope. Yeah, Indiana Landmarks is really excited about this and is really thrilled that the city has taken, uh, I think, a really proactive step. For years, Mark Delossi has fought hard to save the Drake, saying it has so much potential. They were nice places in their day, and let's hope someday they can be again. In a statement, the Children's Museum said there are still several steps left to complete, but again, we continue to be encouraged by the progress we are making together. The city would like to use the site for affordable housing, especially with it being close to Indigo's red line. In Indianapolis, Lauren Caustic, 13 News.